Hello, today we will be explaining the reactivity of metals. This is a sodium atom. Sodium is a group 1 element because it has one electron in its valence or outer shell. The easier the electron is able to be removed from the atom, the more reactive a metal is. Before we can continue, a brief background in atomic structure is necessary. An atom is composed of three subatomic particles neutrons, protons, and electrons. Neutrons have no charge, protons have a positive charge, while electrons have a negative charge. The nucleus, center of the atom, is comprised of protons and neutrons, giving it an overall positive charge. There are forces of attraction between the negatively charged electrons and the positively charged nucleus. Now, meet the lithium atom. Although it also has one valence electron, it has one less electron shell than sodium. Because the second electron shell is closer to the nucleus than the third electron shell, the electrostatic attraction between the positively charged nucleus and the negatively charged valence electron is a lot stronger. As a result, the valence electron is harder to remove, so lithium is less reactive than sodium. The trend in reactivity for group 2 metals is similar to that of group 1 for the same reason. However, it is more difficult to remove the second valence electron than the first. Although lithium and beryllium both have the same number of electron shells, a beryllium atom has one extra valence electron. As a result, a greater force of attraction needs to be overcome, so beryllium reacts less readily than lithium. In conclusion, the more electron shells, the more reactive a metal is, assuming the number of electrons stays the same. Also, the more valence electrons an atom has, the less reactive a metal is, assuming the number of electron shells stays the same.